happening here? Rhode Island continues to fight against breast cancer every day. And if you want to see a dedicated crowd, head to the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. It happens every year in Providence where the streets turn pink in support. Courtney Needham, Senior Community Manager at the American Cancer Society, and Jeffrey Borg, Jr. from Wright's Chicken Farm, join us now. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Courtney, let's start with you. Um, let's talk about the importance of this walk and what it's really all about. Well, the importance of this walk, again, is just to bring everybody out there to get one step closer to finding that cure for that disease that mm -hmm. we have all been touched by in so many different ways. And when we bring everybody together, all of the donations go right back into our research, mm -hmm. all of the programs and services that we have for our survivors and for our patients. And it's really nice to have everybody come down there, um, over 15,000 of us, which is truly amazing, yeah. and come down and raise those um, funds to get one step closer to finding that cure. You mentioned those who want to show their support, but also those survivors, and that's yes. a good thing. I mean, these walks have paid off because of the advancements that can be made and, and the fact that we can have more and more survivors over the years. We absolutely can have more and more survivors, mm -hmm. which is what we all want to see every yeah. single day because we have lost those that have, are close to us and we all have been touched by cancer in some way, mm -hmm. um, whether it's directly or whether it's a family member, a right. friend, whomever it may be. Definitely. So. Jeff, how, how are you guys involved in the walk? So we, my family and I, first became involved with making strides in the walk in 2011. That was when my mother, Tammy, was first diagnosed with breast cancer. So we've been uh, participating in the walk ever since 2011. We continue on even after her passing in 2016. And uh, it's, it's been an amazing partnership with Making Strides, to be, to be honest, yes. Mm -hmm. um, because you are, I'm sure you are not alone, that you, you take part and you have suffered a loss in your life. When you see that support, when you come together year after year for that walk, what emotions are going through? How, how do you feel at that event? There's a lot of different emotions. To um, you know, it, it ranges from it's overwhelming to see the turnout. Mm -hmm. um, we we just had an event actually at uh, Wright's Farm Restaurant where Making Strides worked with us as well, and it was amazing to see the turnout. It's overwhelming. It's we're so grateful as a family. Um, you have so many, it's such a range of emotions. Yeah. But once everyone's together making that walk downtown, it's, it's truly amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's like that bond. Every, everyone's in it together. Everyone's you know, showing their support quickly. Um, of when is the walk? The walk is on Sunday, October 14th. It right. will be in downtown Providence, mm -hmm. again at the Alex Nani Center. And 7.30 a.m. will be registration with the 9 a.m. walk start. Beautiful. So. And we can get a whole team involved. We can bring Absolutely. kids, families. Kids, families. Good for everyone. Everybody's welcome to come. And the more the merrier. So yes, definitely. it's an amazing thing to see everybody together, family and friends, mm -hmm. and have that sea of pink with everybody there walking for that one. Certainly. Sure. We want to get a large group out there this yes. year. Thank Absolutely. you both so much for Thank coming you. in. Thank you. Very Sharing much. Sharing your support for the organization, of course. So you could do the same by taking part in the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk by visiting roadshow.com.